Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for January 28th through February 3rd. For those of you who don't know, this is a general reading for the week ahead. I will pull one card for a soul homework or spirit or angel message to see what's coming up for the week. If you want a love reading, check out the January love readings. The February love readings are going to be up in a couple of days. So if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe, tap that bell icon, and you'll get a notice when the love videos are up. So let's see what is happening for Scorpio the week ahead. Let's get your Monday, Tuesday. In this reading, I'm focusing on career, money, family, spiritual growth, all that good stuff. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, here's your Monday, Tuesday card. Two of Cups. Scorpio. So when two of cups comes up in a reading, typically for me, it's a very healing energy and it's coming into the flow of partnership. Usually when we see it, we think of it as a love card. And like I said, I'm not focusing on love and pow, boom, your first card here is, is, is two of cups, which is typically associated as a love card. But when it comes up in other areas of your life, like say if I was doing a career reading or something, um, it could basically mean that you're coming into elements of partnership or your, your skills in dealing with other people are really beginning to blossom and flourish where you're able to have healthy connections with others. For some of you, this will translate into your love life. Some of you are going through some kind of a healing or some kind of a growth period where your old um, habits of being attracted to losery, creepy people is over or your habit of being pulled into relationships with people who are takers and who just take, take, take and not give anything back, like that is ending. You're just coming into a healthier vibration. And for those of you who have been hungry for love or hoping for love or hoping that an existing relationship will improve, that energy is definitely coming in Monday, Tuesday. Overall, I see two of cups of, you know, a, a card of finally coming into a higher vibration and attracting interactions with others that are high vibrational. If there's any kind of disagreement, if there's any kind of problem, you're able to talk it over maturely. There isn't as much tumultuousness in your life anymore. And I hope I'm not using too fancy of a word, but when I say tumultuousness, it could be just very like chaotic and, and, and very like, you know, fiery, passionate in an intense way where where it's like, you know, like arguing over big things or, 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 I mean, arguing over little things that become very big, little things becoming, you know, blown out of proportion, like that is being put behind you or like that kind of chaos or that kind of drama, it's over, it's done. You're coming into a higher elevation, a higher way of interacting. Your Wednesday, Thursday card, my dears is the high priestess. I love high priestess. I really, really do. Um, and as a Scorpio sun with a Taurus moon, I love this card because, you know, all I've, got, I've got Taurus on my moon. But high priestess is associated with the sign of Taurus. So if any of you have Taurus in your chart, it could be that maybe um, right now this moon energy with the blood moon is really, really, really picking up the Taurus part of you. That Taurus that your inner Taurus is coming out. Other ones of you may just be a adapting or beginning to feel that high priestess energy in your life regardless regardless of if you have Taurus or not or you may be interacting with a Taurus who's coming in um, with these qualities or characteristics specifically high priestess is a very intuitive person high priestess is very awakened high priestess is very confident high priestess knows what needs to be done and they're listening to their um their their intuition and their guidance it's almost like you know what to do you just know what to do you just feel it instinctively like an animal you know going through the forest it just instinctively knows where to go for shelter because they know they just instinctively know that it's going to rain and they know that they have to find shelter or they instinctively know where they're going to go to like be able to to find food or whatever it is you're coming into that same instinct you're coming into that same effortless flow of thriving and 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 you know just making your way through this life Another message here with the high priestess, my dears, is the chakras opening up 
and really, really aligning. I already said a lot of you Scorpios were coming into a healthier, high vibrational energy, right? And then uh, Taurus, uh, I mean, not Taurus, I'm sorry, High Priestess is really, really um, emphasizing this because this is like a, a, an alignment card. This is being in tune. This is everything opening up. Another thing that happens with High Priestess, my dears, is that and I've said this, and this is more, maybe it could just be my spin or my take on the card from what I've seen over the years reading for other people. There's a sexual awakening that happens here. So even though I'm not focusing on love, there could be a very intense soulmate situation happening for some of you that's going to begin venturing into like the sexual realm with this person for some of you if you're showing up as the high priestess this would typically tell me that this person doesn't know what to do with you so if you're caught up in a situation of like what is this person's intentions they have no clue they don't know like they just feel like they found a, a mermaid or like a, a unicorn or something like they don't like they're very excited about it they're excited to be around it but they don't know what to do with it you know and so for, for a lot of you there might be some kind of interaction where you don't know what to make like what is this is this my twin flame is this my soulmate what is this this person doesn't know, you know, but typically um, with this kind of a card, I feel there's something happening with a really massive leap in your life where you're really about to come up. And so this could be somebody who's coming in in that process or who in some way might be a part of this. And then where it goes from there, we all have free will. That's between the two of you. But there could be something very intense happening, uh, like chemistry wise, uh, you know, spiritual chemistry, even past life chemistry, physical chemistry happening with a person for a lot of you um, midweek. But overall, I would just say listen to your intuition at this time because it's definitely getting stronger. Those of you who felt that maybe you're intuitive or you have psychic gifts or abilities, definitely coming out this week. Your Friday, Saturday and Sunday is ten of cups this is stability you guys are calling instability you guys are calling instability and in ways that you can't even imagine ten of cups is jackpot ten of cups is um you know financial security emotional security uh you know like living a happy life having a, a home life full of love and prosperity um having everything that you need in abundance and abundance comes in many forms like i said emotional financial spiritual all the different areas of your life are all completely full now some of you are like, wow, this sounds too good to be true because I have been all by myself or I've been isolated for a long time. How is this going to happen Friday, Saturday or Sunday? I'm not saying that you're going to wake up on Friday and get engaged and on Saturday be married and then on Sunday be living in a giant, beautiful house that's completely paid off with a beautiful family and doggies running around. I'm not saying that, but the energy is headed that way for a lot of you, right? It might not materialize exactly on this day, but you're headed there. And something is happening in your energy where these doors are opening up behind the scenes that is helping this to happen, okay? Some of you are, are, are going through something karmically that's going to open up the door for somebody else who maybe is coming in and bringing stability. Some of you might be working something out karmically with a person and that transitions into stability. It's going to be different for different ones of you and the different people that you all have around you. It's very impossible to say across the board that every single Scorpio will have the same exact experience in the same exact way. So definitely check out your moon sign and rising sign videos and see what those have to say as well uh, because it's going to bring an added information for you you may need a private reading which i am more than happy to do the contact and the pricing is through the link there so we are going to jump into this my dear and see what is happening for you in terms of your soul homework spirit message angel message and my lovelies i have a special announcement after that card so stick around if you want to hear the announcement and i haven't forgotten about the raffle i'm still giving away that deck of cards to celebrate 20k subscribers i will be announcing the winner as soon as the love readings are done posting i've got to get those up and it takes time so let's see Scorpio, 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 what is your message? That popped right on out. Spirit already knew what to say to you. Pure nature. I love it. I love it. I love it. 
Okay, my dear. So seven is the number of intuition. And it, it's right above here, right above the high priestess card. And what did I say? You guys were coming into that natural flow of just knowing, of instinctively, you know, uh, making decisions just on pure instinct. And pure nature is very much in align with that. What a beautiful confirmation you're receiving, Scorpio, um, where you're effortlessly, almost effortlessly going through life going by just like what feels right i think for a lot of you scorpios especially those of you who are very smart you may have been uh, planners or plotters you may even have been schemers uh for a very long time and like climbing the the career path or, or ideas or things or how to deal with others and this is uh, one of the ways where Scorpio sometimes gets a bad rap and we're seen as being uh, manipulative or sneaky or having like a plan or being able like to control people, which I've never been too good at. But for a lot of Scorpios, they have that reputation. And it's because Scorpios are very good at being smart and trying to figure out how to like work things out. It's not because they're specifically meaning or trying to manipulate. You're not having to do that. You're not having to plot and plan and figure out and dissect because things are happening naturally and you're going with the flow. You're going with the flow of the energy. You're going with the flow of your interactions with others. So things are coming up and happening without having to plan them or plot them or schedule them. Things are falling into place just through pure nature and a lot of you scorpios are just becoming a lot more comfortable in your own skin and you're feeling a lot of confidence in that way and you're seeing the beauty that you have now you're not caught up in the whole thing of well i have to be this way i have to do this or, or be like this although you're working on yourself you know we're always always working on ourselves, but you're realizing that you still deserve to be loved or accepted or embraced or promoted or um, acknowledge just based how you are right now before other improvements happen like you're realizing that you're good enough in the moment right and everything else is just icing on the cake and the cherry on top and you might want to hit icing on the cake and cherry on top and you will but you're realizing that right now you're still a great whole tasty cake you know like you're realizing you're enough in this moment and you're going to continue to move forward and everything's just happening a lot more naturally right it's not it's not planned it's not forced it's just life is coming together a lot more naturally and that's exciting and that's a beautiful thing scorpio so i'm excited for those of you experiencing this check out your moon sign and rising sign videos too that's going to add more information for a lot of you um coming into your announcement here guys like what is this well i'll explain it to you this is a angelite stone this is an amethyst stone. I'm starting a crystal of the club month. The club, um, the crystal for February is going to be angelite. And since I'm launching this and I'm celebrating the first ever crystal month uh, club, it's going to have an amethyst stone as a free gift. You're going to get the amethyst for free. Okay, and anybody who signs up for the Crystal of the Month Club, every single month you're going to get a personal message from me on video. My face, not just my hands, but my face talking to your beautiful face with a message for your energy specifically. What is up for you the month ahead? You know, pulling a card for you, looking into what's happening for you. I'm going to keep this super low cost, as low cost as I can to be able to afford to continue buying crystals and being able to ship them and being able to set time aside to record videos for each person. So I'm going to have it uh, set up through my Patreon. I need to get a few things set up on Patreon for that to officially be launched, but it will officially be launched before the end of this weekend. So check up on that. I will announce it on YouTube. I will announce it on my social media. I will have the link displayed for anybody who wants to click on and sign up. So I'm excited, guys. I know a lot of you live in places where crystals are hard to find or you just you're not sure which crystals to get and you don't know anything about them. So this is going to be educational in terms of metaphysical properties of crystals you're going to get a little energy checkup every single month from me to you just personal one-on-one -on -one. and i'm excited and it is just kind of like spirit was like you need to do this so this is what's happening my dears so thank you for anybody who's going to come on that journey with me thank you for watching scorpio reach out let me know if you need a private reading and until next week my friends